What do you call a knight made entirely out of fine china? Ceramic! I got my wife a metal detector as a present, but she didn't like it. Strange, as she always likes to dig up things from the past. What did the earth say after the earthquake? Sorry, my fault. I'm not a fan of elevator music. It's bad on so many levels. Why does a fork have four prongs? Because if it had less, it would be called a threek. A history degree is useless. There's no future in it. Why was the child's blanket arrested? For being an accessory to a kid napping. Some trees are committed to one romantic relationship at a time. They practice mahogany. I don't like math puns, but I will make one if I have to. How are parking spaces measured? In parking meters. My teacher always said not to worry about correct spelling because we have autocorrect. And for that, I am infernally grapefruit. My wife left me because I'm obsessed with Africa. Can you believe it? And we have two kids together. This divorce is gonna be so hard on them. There was an old man who lived by a forest. As he grew older and older, he started losing his hair, until one day, on his deathbed, he was completely bald. That day, he called his children to a meeting. He said, Look at my hair. It used to be so magnificent, but it's completely gone now. My hair can't be saved, but look outside at the forest. It's such a lovely forest with so many trees, but sooner or later they'll all be cut down and this forest will look as bald as my hair. What I want you to do, the man continued, is every time a tree is cut down or dies, plant a new one in my memory. Tell your descendants to do the same. It shall be our family's duty to keep this forest strong. So they did. Each time the forest lost a tree, the children replanted one. And so did their children, and their children after them. And for centuries, the forest remained as lush and pretty as it once was, all because of one man and his reseeding airline. Jeff, change your URL! Three golf clubs walk into a bar. The putter orders a beer, and the wedge orders a whiskey. The bartender asks the third one if he wants anything. He replies, no thanks, I'm the driver. My wife sent me a text saying, you're the best, to which I replied, no, you're the best. She's been on cloud nine ever since, feeling so loved and in love. I don't have the heart to tell her that I was just correcting her grammar. I fly often for business. Yesterday, I had three bags to check. I said, I'd like this bag to go to New Orleans, this one to Seattle, and the third to Chicago. The gate agent rolled her eyes and said, we can't do that. I said, why not? You did it last week. I accidentally stepped in wet cement in the front walkway of this building because I was in a rush to get to my first job interview. I'm pretty sure I left a bad impression. I'm at the airport and there's a woman completely passed out on the baggage carousel. She's slowly coming around now. When I was younger, everyone had a wristwatch. Nowadays, almost no one wears one. How times have changed. I saw a man that used different cuts of steak to create portraits of people. It was a rare medium, but well done. Instead of naming my son Drew, I named him Drew. It's only weird if you say it backwards. A couple of counterfeiters make a mistake one time and end up with a batch of $15 bills. One of them says, we gotta get rid of these things. We'll go to Florida. I know a little town there. They're so dumb they won't know a thing. So off they go. Soon they arrive at a gas station and buy some gas. The guy at the counter looks a little simple-minded. Hey, can you break a $15 bill for me? One of them says. Oh sure, no problem, the cashier says. The counterfeiters grin at each other. I told you, the one whispers to the other, and they fist bump. Then the cashier says to them, So, do you want an 8 and a 7? Or two threes and a 9? 